guys it's a really sunny day here in Michigan finally um, I just wanted to talk quickly about um, a couple of my tomatoes here so I've covered in the past indeterminate and determinate plants and clearly here you can see the difference between them um, the indeterminate here is a little unstructured and grows pretty wild and then we have the determinate one that grows very compact and almost bush-like so I just staked this super sweet 100 and this is a six foot stake and the thing is with indeterminate plants they have no stopping point they will grow as wild as they want and they will grow through frost so unless you pull them out and stop them from growing completely they won't um, as far as I'm concerned I really do love indeterminate plants it's not like they're bad but you just need to understand how to take care of them prune them and stake them so I ended up getting this stake uh, just from uh, Walmart I got a six foot you can get a metal stake this is plastic I believe and I went ahead and put this a couple feet into my garden bed just so that it was very secure and then I ended up going in and taking some string and tying it to the stake to secure it and as this grows you are going to want to continue to train this and tie this to the trellis you also want to continue to prune your indeterminate plant and that is because you need enough airflow uh, so that you don't get um, mold, rot, anything like that. You want nice, healthy tomatoes. And that's what causes a lot of diseases when you see your tomatoes and they're not performing well and you see those like rotting spots on it. More than likely, um, it could be because your tomato plant is not getting enough airflow. So pruning is wonderful. Now to prune in each corner call it elbows in the middle you can see this one's trying to grow back a little bit of a um, stem there and you just want to pick um, or prune, prune that off so that you have a nice clean looking tomato plant uh, seems kind of like a lot but in the end it looks like a lot cleaner and it performs amazing. Uh, some people do not feel the need to prune, but for me, it's a must. So, and I've definitely learned in the past from previous years that I prefer pruning my tomato plants instead of just letting them go wild. So you can definitely use a stake for indeterminate tomato plants. Um, anything in your garden that's gonna be raining at all, stakes are wonderful for that. Um, and then you can use cages like this for your um, determinate plants that are more bush-like um, and that you just need it to be a little, uh, you just need a little security. Um, you can use a larger tomato cage for your indeterminate plants, um, such as that one, but I think stakes just work better. You can get to the fruit a lot better, you can prune a lot easier, and you have a lot more control over staking your tomato plant to the hole instead of um, having it go every which way inside of a cage. So that's what I would recommend there. And these stakes that I have here are kind of more curved. Um, I really like these a lot actually. I tried them out last year and I really love them. But I ended up just tucking them right next to some of my determinate tomato plants um, just for some extra stability in case they needed to be staked to something later on, um, probably in like a month when they get a little bit of growth, but really not a big deal. I don't even know if I'll have to stake them, um, even the small one here. I don't know if it'll ever get to that point, but those are there just in case. And I also just wanted to cover real quick, um, along with pruning, that you can prune back some of these leaves in here too. If you have any wilting leaves or anything that um, is kind of taking over or getting in the way, just go ahead and get rid of it because an indeterminate plant will not stop growing. So even if you take away one stem, it's not going to take away from um, 
the fruit that you're going to be getting at the end. So that is no big deal. Get rid of it, clean it up, make it look nice, and your garden is going to be so easy for you.